Maybe means fucked up tangle. Just two bodies crashing into each other. Maybe one is done getting hit and is close in the distance. Or maybe one is a grabber and wants to pick you up and dump you. Or you have no awareness and now somebody's on top of you. So not a sport fight. It's just two people mixed in together. And first I have to explain you the primary tools and the secondary tools. First the primary tools that we use in the competitors. It's the palm, slap, hammer, elbow, knee, and the eye bends. Exception is the eyelids, but the rest is geared toward the impact of the brain, so we knock you out. So if you're unconscious, you're not under threat anymore. Our secondary is the interrogation biting. So mating, uh, use of environment, restricted striking, ballistic manipulation, and use of weapons. It can be an improvised weapon, a weapon on you, or maybe a stone that you hit with. But it's our secondary. So the basic principle we work on today, we try to use secondary tools, because in a fight somebody's on top of you, you use secondary tools to make distance, to go to primary tools, and pin a subject with impact. Yeah, so everybody understands what we're doing now? So we're going to start from the fight position. Can I have to pop it? So I want you to be familiar with how to get manhandled and how it feels to get manhandled. Also, I want you to know what is balance and how you can get some control. So the first thing what I want to do, be sure this is 67%. So keep it, uh, we call it tacked up. Keep this light. Because this is not a uh, much power drill. I want him to feel with this part. I want him to feel. Because I'm mean, fighting here. I have him. I feel him. There's no need for me to look at him. On the street, there's always a secondary threat. So while you are busy with him and playing with him, look around. So, first thing you're going to do, again, 67% sliding feel. This is dominant. Because I can control him, and if he wants to hit me left or right, doesn't matter, I can at least protect myself. So the first build, you come into this position, you put one step to the left or the right, and you take his balance. Be sure you will find your balance in your balance. Now it's his turn. Slide in, step away, come out, keep it lighter. Whereas right. while you're doing this, look around. Where are you looking for? Secondary track. Come again. So we're going to flow like this. What? 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 Keep it light, so really feel him. Don't use too much power. If it's too much resistance, slide in, grab him. This is the real start. Yes, this position, step <coughs> left or right, take his balance, look around. I will walk through the audience. If, you, if I see you're not looking at me, I will maybe tap you or slap you with a pat. That's only feedback. You just missed the secondary track. Yes, so feel, look around. Don't need to feel, uh, look at him. Yes? Can we make this happen? Slide in, I will make 
this step forward, so over this, you would do the same. So going like this, you pull it. And then find control again. Now we're going to be about our pull. So you want to impact and control this arm. The same pull I'm doing my, my whole body. It's forward. Don't do this shit, you will lose balance. So from here, come again. Well, it's just that you don't want to wrestle one more. <coughs> and find control back as soon as you can. So try to add some impact from here. Ooh, so now you get used to some impact. Yeah, you do a hit with the button. Can we just have a hit on the ground?
just want to see if you come here and you read an eye gap, what is the next step? What's logical now? Close the weapon's nearest target. So, boom, from here. Now I'm already retracting for the elbow. Boom, so just a tool. If you miss this one, you come back with this, boom, boom, this is what I have now. I will grab him in the side now, now you need to snatch him. So, it's all connected with each other if you understand movement. I want to add the concussive clips. And I know if you want to feel it first. It's a good thing to feel first. First, now fuck the pattern. Some of them. Concussively, let's say I see him coming or in this battle we are struggling and I can release him. Boom! Give him a concussive feeling. This is something that will shake his brain. What you try to do is this one goes inside of the neck. This one slaps in the back while you're retracting and put him against your shoulder. So you get this four. A boom! In this motion. Okay. So it shoots something like this. It's bomb. Yeah. So it's boom. Gives him a split second to he's predatory and now oh, fuck moment. You want to utilize this fuck moment by kneeing the boy, snatching the boy, step on the ankle, step on the arm. 